Hello everybody and happy, happy holidays. Today we're going to bring you the culmination of the writer's program. We had the closing reception December the 8th, a week ago, and it was very, very good. You will remember that we started it November the 3rd, and it ended lamentably because all those folks got together so very well. They bonded and they're ready to go forth. Now, of course, we have the complication of the writer's strike. It is going to figure into the equation. By that I mean how soon some of these writers can get to work. Now, today we're going to present you not only what the writers had to say about the program, but also what the executives had to say about the program, about the writers, and about the strike. Take a look. The most important thing for me is it just got me writing. Uh, I haven't written anything new in, in months, and now I feel inspired, and I feel like, you know, one day I'm just going to start something new. People here who uh, gave me feedback on my table read, it was amazing. I don't think I could have gotten it any other way. Alex, thank you for giving me this opportunity. It was pretty amazing. And, and Jeff was our fearless leader the entire time and did an amazing job. And none of us came to fisticuffs, so I think that was good. <laughs> There's this old adage that you you fish where the fish are biting. And, and for us, it's, it's really tough to find Latino writers uh, you know, in, in, in one place. It's just, it's just really difficult to do. Opportunity comes out of situations like this. And we really do feel that, that a lot of the dynamics of the business are going to necessarily change because of this strike. And it's going to create opportunities for us. And, and our challenge for our department is to figure out where those opportunities are for you. It's something that we tend to do, you're used to doing by yourself. And to me, it was a big relief to be able to sit down with 10 other writers. You know, we all have the goal of being staff. And technically, we're working across from people that we may or may not be competing with in the future, but it never felt like that. You know, it was real supportive. We were all behind each other and I had a great time. This is a weird time, but it's also a good time because I feel like you have to really want it right now and you have to really understand what it means to want it and to be a writer. Obviously every writer is different and I think that's an important lesson that you probably have learned being in such tight quarters with writers is how different you all are and that there are different strategies for everyone so I think our next step is to work with you guys to personalize that strategy. I think my favorite aspect of it was just having you know nine other colleagues that were very very smart, very funny, Fun to be in with the room for how many hours on end it took, you know. I'm excited to to look, you know, two or three years down the road and and see how many of you guys stick with it and and really apply yourselves and get involved in the process and get um, become a part of the fabric of the television industry. So you get so inspired by all the speakers that come in and are like, "This is how I did it." and you're like, I can do this too. It's very close to my heart to see um, more people of color succeed and, and achieve all of their goals and dreams in this business. And hopefully, um, collectively as a group, we'll be able to help you get there. We're looking forward to working with you. I'm still in the Thanksgiving mode, because I ate a lot of turkey, so I feel like giving lots of Thanksgiving to everybody too, for, the, for the opportunity, because I love the program. The, uh, the, the My classmates are El Jefe Grande, Jeff. That's what we call him. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do Monday <laughs> when I don't have all you guys around. I just think, you know, as far as my writing goes, I think I jumped levels while I was at this program, and I feel like I helped everyone. It felt like I was part of a really strong team. And hopefully the day that I'm in a writer's room, I'll have the same feeling. Well, one of the things that was most exciting was actually reading the scripts of my colleagues and finding just the high level of talent that's in the room. And so just being able to feel that if you know, I'm in a room with people that's talented, it felt great. And it's kind of different from the solitary experience that a lot of us aspiring writers have. I think also what was important to me was there was a cultural heritage sort of that we shared that I haven't experienced a lot. I mean, where you could say something in Spanish and somebody would get the, the meaning of it. And it was, <laughs> and I mean, and I've always had a problem with my heritage because I was brought up not speaking Spanish and everything, but there was a, um, I did enjoy that. There was a certain comfort level, you know, that I enjoyed. Besides the professional, uh, the writing uh, improvement, I, I'm grateful that I, that I got ten good friends out of this program. Well, <laughs> but more. <laughs> We're all friends, right? Have to stay, stay at it, keep calling, even when they don't answer your call, you call it again. 
um, and you just have to stick at it. Such a strange time in the business right now. Uh, you know, I've been at NBC a long time. I remember when there was the last writer's strike, and I think there are some things that might have happened over the last few weeks that couldn't happen because of the circumstances that we're under, and I just hope that the strike will be over as soon as possible, and we'll have some shows to work on again, and to be able to think about getting people uh, staffed on. We want to reach out and help writers who aren't members necessarily to help you get some kind of mentorship, and we know a lot of writers who are open to that, so if that's something you're looking for, and feel free to give us a call and, and Talk to me, Terry, or Kim Myers at the Writers Group. We'll be happy to help you all out with all that. <laughs> Everyone knows how to laugh. Everyone was willing to put themselves out there and you know say some outrageous things that some of us laughed at, but that was all part of it, you know. And um, and and it really worked well as a like a, as a writers room. You guys fit in great. We have heard nothing but the best from everybody that has been involved with this program for this particular group. If you give up is because you don't want to do this, okay? So you're going to have to stay in touch with all of us because other than that, it'll be too difficult for you. So call me. Call the Writers Guild. Call ABC, NBC. Call all of them, you know? <laughs> now, together, we're going to be getting together once a month so that, in fact, you don't lose touch with one another so we can talk what you're doing exactly at that particular moment, where you're going, what the plans are, and so forth. ¿Qué les pareció? It was a wonderful program, a wonderful five weeks for the writers. It bonded very, very closely, as you could hear. It was also very wonderful for the executives that participated. It was wonderful for all of us. Next year, we're going to do the program again. You will have advance notice of the fact that we're going to do it. ABC, NBC, and Southwest will again be the, the uh, sponsors. Until that time, and during this holiday period, be good to each other and have a good holiday. Adiós.